Target, no type of material detected. System alert. Repairs needed. Morgan, I don't know if you've seen, 
but there is alien matter ripping through the hull. You have to move. Bosh, my... Every window in this station. It's engulfing the place. It's everywhere. System alert. Repairs needed.
Microgravity detected. Suit integrity damaged. Inspecting. Your suit's leaking. I'll patch that for you. Let me have complete. Who? What? Am I talking? Morgan. Good evening, Morgan? Dr. Maybe. I, I see a person who looks like Morgan Hill. Morgan, be cautious. Your brother is unstable. He may not permit you to activate the self-destruct. Also, he's armed. Unstable? Is that a joke, Operator? You've let this machine poison you. I wish you understood. I've bent the course of this entire station around what you wanted. I let you persuade me. And now you're gonna throw it all away? Just stop and think for one goddamn second, Morgan! The safety is off on his firearm. I think you've said enough. I would never harm you, Morgan. Never. This machine, it had your voice. I knew from the video you'd done something with operators, but this? It's not too late, you know. We can still salvage this. You change your mind once, you can change it again. I won't stop you if you decide to end it all. I told you I wouldn't. So, what's it gonna be? Warning, reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate <sighs> Talos 1. I wish there was something I could have said to snap you out of this fugue. Operator approach. It's my fault. I gambled too much. And the worst part? It isn't losing the station or the tech. It's you. I lost my brother. That is a mistake I will never recover from. Warning, reactor detonation imminent. There's nothing left to talk about. If you have some means of escape, you may as well go. I won't be leaving. The shuttle is ready to go, Morgan. I'll wait a few minutes before detonation. Good luck then, with your new life. I'm gone. You're on your own after that.
Warning, reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos-1. Warning, reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos-1. keep having this dream. It's finished. How did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, that nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later it recovered the Leitner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It's remarkable that it never installed a single Typhon-based neuromod. In my view, this demonstrates a strong identification with us, but its most surprising act was sparing Da. While perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos One. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? It also found my father's records. And then, I did not expect this. But it let me listen to them. Despite the self-incriminating content, it was willing to make itself vulnerable. Then, there was the man in psychotronics, Ingram. It let him go. Was that mercy? Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to, but it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. A lot of humans controlled by the Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but... I think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to destroy Talos One. Why? To protect her? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. 
We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean really see us. Take my hand if you do. We're gonna shake things up like old times. <laughs>